first start with the very first topic which is your rare disease see why we are seeing this rare disease in news the context being the death of a 19 year old child actress suhani bhatnagar from dermatomyositis which is a rare disorder okay in which the inflammation in muscle occur and uh, yesterday that is 28th february was also rare disease day okay so that is why today we had this article in news and that is why we must know what are rare disease upsc has already asked and it might ask again with respect to the rare disease specifically in your mains examination so we'll be focusing on the definition on the issues on the policies and initiative in india as well as we'll also look forward to the uh, way forward what is the need that need to be done in order to address the uh, rare diseases okay so the very first thing is uh, we do not have one but matlab one comprehensive definition of rare disease but what we know today is according to world health organization rare disease affect one or less per 1000 population so any disease which is impacting less than one or one person in 1000 of per 1000 of population that is categorized as a rare disease okay so uh, another uh, this is something that you can give in your introduction when you are writing about rare diseases so it says that barely 5% over 7000 known disease worldwide are treatable so if you see 7000 known rare diseases are there as of now and out of that only 5% are treatable that means 95% of the known rare diseases are not treatable as per the present scenario okay and most patient typically receive only basic treatment that alleviates uh, symptoms iska reason simply ye hai that it take sometimes 7 to 10 years that is almost a decade for a rare disease symptoms to show okay so whenever you have some issues like very slight issues you generally uh, tend to treat the symptom but you do not treat the disease because it is i unidentifiable for a longer period of time okay so that is one thing now <clears throat> let's see the pen, uh, the presence of rare diseases in india in india one third of the global rare disease incidents are uh, occurring in india okay so if world ke andar globally you have 100 cases of rare disease out of that 33.3 cases of rare disease are occurring in india which is a huge number if you see okay and with over 450 identified disease okay and what are the examples of the rare disease widely known as spinal muscular atrophy gaucher's disease and if you see very less known ones are mucopolysaccharidosis and whipple's disease so these are the examples of rare disease you can quote them in your answers and if you see this data it is very important because uh, suppose tomorrow you become an ias officer or maybe somebody who's responsible who is a officer in health ministry or somewhere else so uh, you must know the, the the you must know the penetration of such diseases in india you must know the gravity you must know the incidence you must know Uh, the you ha- must have the awareness in order to uh, you know cater to any scenario which is occurring at that point of time that is why in general you should know further in exam also uh, you can get a question around this area because it is such a topic that it has already been asked and you might get it again as well okay so about 8 to 10 crore indians have diseases over 75% of them are children so 140 ki population mein se approximately 8 to 10 crore uh, people have this rare diseases and the irony is 75% of them are children and one of the probable reason of the more occurrence of rare disease is something that we discuss yesterday which is your endogamy if you remember we discuss that what happen for a uh, 
फॉर एनी जिनोम टू एक्सप्रेस इट नीड्स टू पर्टिकुलर बेस्ट जिनोम फ्रॉम इट शुड बी अवेलेबल इन बोथ द स्ट्रैंड ऑफ द जिनोम वन कमिंग फ्रॉम ईच पेरेंट ओके सो एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट द रिसेसिव ट्रेट्स विच आर रेयर अक्रंट बिकॉज अगर डोमिनेंट होगा तो मेजोरिटी पॉपुलेशन में अवेलेबल होगा बिकॉज अगर एक भी ट्रांसफर होता है एक भी पेरेंट से फॉल्टी जिनोम या फिर जो डिजीज कैरिंग कोई जिनोम अगर आता है तो वो एक्सप्रेस करेगा अगर डोमिनेंट है लेकिन अगर रिसेसिव है तो इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट कि वो दोनों पेरेंट्स के जिनोम के थ्रू बच्चे में ट्रांसफर हो एंड उसको एक्सप्रेशन के लिए चाहिए कि दोनों स्ट्रैंड के अंदर वो जिनोम जो डिजीज कॉजिंग जिनोम है वो प्रेजेंट हो एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ विच दीज डिजीज अक्कर एंड दैट इज वाई वी से रिसेसिव ट्रेट्स है रेयर डिजीजेज हैं अब अगर एंडोगेमी है तो चांसेस एज वी डिस्कस कि अगर विद इन द सेम फैमिली या एक्सटेंडेड फैमिली और विद इन द सेम जिनोम पेयर एज वी डिस्कस ये फोर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड जिनोम ग्रुप्स हैं इंडिया के अंदर तो इफ यू आर मैरिंग विद इन यूर ओन जिनोम ग्रुप्स दैट मीन्स द चांसेज ऑफ डिपिक्शन ऑफ रिसेसिव ट्रेट्स एंड द रेयर डिजीज इंक्रीज एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ विच वी आर विटनेसिंग एन इंक्रीज इन रेयर डिजीज इन इंडिया स्पेसिफिकली बिकॉज इट इज एन एंडोगेम सोसाइटी so we do have 33% of uh, uh, share of world rare diseases in india okay and up it is increasing furthermore and as a result of it 75% are children okay so less than 50% of the 450 rare diseases identified in india are treatable so 4 450 india mein identify hui hai rare disease jiske andar se 250 से कम जो डिजीज हैं, दे आर ट्रीटेबल सो कितनी डिजीजेस तो ऐसी हैं जिनको ट्रीट ही नहीं कर सकते हैं दैट इज वन प्रॉब्लम सेकेंड थिंग इट इट दीज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इश्यूज दे आर ओवर लुक डिजीज सी वेन यू हैव वी हैड पैंडमिक लाइक कोविड नाइनटीन नाउ इट वॉज अकरिंग इन सच अ मैगनम स्केल दैट यू हैव नो ऑप्शन बट टू ट्रीट इट एंड देन इंडिया वी वी हैव मेनी डिजीज लाइक वी आर हब फॉर हाइपर टेंशन डायबिटीज मलेरिया ट्यूबर क्लॉसिस सो दिस इज लेप्रेसी दीज आर द डिजीज विच आर अकरिंग ऑन अ मास स्केल इन इंडिया सो नेचुरली द अटेंशन इज गोइंग टू दीज डिजीज एज कम्पेयर टू रेयर अकरेंस बिकॉज इट इज अ रेयर अकरेंस बट द नंबर्स इन इंडिया आर रिलेटिवली हायर साइड सो दे हैव बीन ओवर लुक सो फार but in 2021 we had a policy in place but we'll be discussing that policy in the upcoming slide and the second problem is resource constraints okay because we are a developing country we have to uh, have expenditure in all the dimensions including infrastructure education health care uh, then uh, financial inclusion and all these things as a result of which we a lot of our budget goes into social uh, budget as well so that is where uh, we do have resource constraints third less awareness diagnosis and drug development for rare disease one thing we have uh, all over world the r and d across the rare, rare diseases left uh, less that is why we do not have many treatments available that diagnosis itself became difficult as we discuss it take a longer period of time to express themselves then the third thing is uh, majority of the rare diseases are congenital as well not majority but some of the rare diseases are congenital as well so that is why uh, what happen is ki the treatment is also expensive also okay so <clears throat> then further uh, there is less awareness with respect to rare disease as well so some that is why we say the majority of the people they got symptom related treatment and not the disease related treatment because the awareness among people in general and also among physicians are less because of the less r and d around this area okay now treatments which are approved by drug controller general of india are available for just about 20 rare disease and can be availed only from center of excellence since excellence ka number bhi center of excellence ka bhi number bhi few hai that means treatment sirf 12 uh, 450 india mein jo disease hain usme se sirf 20 diseases rare diseases aisi hain jiska treatment approved kiya gaya hai aaj tak okay और उसका ट्रीटमेंट भी सेंटर ऑफ एक्सीलेंस के थ्रू मिलता है विच आर ओनली ट्वेल्व इन नंबर इन इंडिया सो वी कैन सी कि हाउ देन इट नीड्स ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ पेनिट्रेशन ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ इंक्लूजन व्हेन इट कम्स टू 
health infrastructure, availability of treatment, diagnostic awareness. All these things are extremely important in order to address this menace of rare diseases. Okay, that is why we are saying these are the constraints, these are the issues. Now, another thing is, what are the initiatives that has been taken by the government? So, the initiative, as I've already told you, is the National Policy for Rare Disease, which came into effect in 2021. However, there was another attempt which was made in 2017 by the same government to bring in the, the national policy, but it was withdrawn uh, on 20, in 2018 itself, owing to the issues such as implementation challenges, confusion regarding disease coverage, patient eligibility and cost sharing, and also definition of disease as I said. Okay. And that is why we are saying confusion regarding the disease that will be covering under this policy. Now, although they have brought in the same policy again, but this similar issues still remain with the same policy. And in the, in the new policy also, the definition is not that comprehensive and it's not clear as well. Okay. So, it also said up to 50 lakh is allowed per patient, which will be dispersed to the concerned center of excellence. As rare chronic disease usually require lifelong management and therapy, the amount is also inadequate. This is as per the sum of the analyst. Other issues as we have discussed, there is less R&D, so we have less sufficient data to analyze and then we do have less funds as well. Now, if you see the budget allocation, the budget allocation has been increasing, but it is still less. So, uh, it, it remain at 93 crore for 2023, 2024, which if you see the population that is suffering is 8 to 10 CR. And the allocation is 93 CR, which is very less if you want to give boost to R&D, give, have, you know, support financially the people. And then you also want to have infrastructure in place, awareness in place. So the budget is extremely less to address the rare diseases. So these are the problem. Now what is needed to be done? So first and the foremost, we need timely and accurate diagnosis. Okay. As we discussed, it takes an average of seven years for the condition to be diagnosed, if at all. Okay. So that is the, uh, we, if we want to address the disease, we need to have timely and accurate diagnosis, which will require sort of R&D and sort of research that need to go in these diseases to figure out the pattern and everything. So that is one area. Another thing is unawareness among physicians. We have already discussed this thing. Healthcare professional must be trained to improve the diagnostic accuracy. Then another thing is expectant mothers with a history of rare disease in their family. If someone family a rare disease in someone's family, then those family ke jo bhi mothers hai, who are expecting a child, they should get the screening done and it should be a mandatory prenatal and postnatal diagnosis and care. Okay. Prenatal before birth, postnatal after birth. State government must introduce social assistant programs and develop satellite centers under COE. And this will help in inclusive healthcare. Because you have the availability of the so treatment will be more accessible to the people. Now, public and private companies could co-opt for funding. Jo CSR, uh, every company has to give. So, you can use that CSR in developing uh, these things. The government incentivize domestic manufacture under production link investing scheme, in incentive scheme and reduce clinical trial requirements. So these are the suggestions which has been given. Clearly, you can write them in your way forward in your answer. It can be your way forward. If you get a question around rare disease. So you must write these points. They'll give you very good marks. 